This past weekend, a petition demanding Jesse Williams be fired from ABC's Grey's Anatomy collected over 25,000 signatures. Wait, 25,000 white people were watching the BET Awards? <laughs> The thing about trolls is that their main objective is to distract you. These are not people that want to have meaningful conversations about important issues. And I've definitely fallen victim to that. I think sometimes it can feel really good and cathartic to have a great clapback, like my clapback game is on point. I love a good gif. But sometimes you end up expending way more energy than is necessary on these people. And I find that it's more impactful to take that time and energy and put it into people who are actually willing to have these conversations and want to understand. And people that are trolling, it's expressly, expressly for the purpose of entertaining themselves. So I think everyone has to figure out what their own strategy is. I think there is a balance where sometimes people can respond to those comments in a way that can illuminate the conversation for their followers and other people. I think the biggest issue is that Twitter and social media platforms in general really need to reassess what their terms of service say in terms of what harassment looks like. Oftentimes we have a very black and white, okay, are you using racial slurs? Are you making death threats? And those are absolutely behaviors that we want to discourage online and uh, have repercussions for. But there are unfortunately people who are very crafty and can work around whatever those things are. And so you see things like people making multiple accounts and sending the same message over and over again, or uh, releasing people's private information, or just targeting their friends and family. Like these are the types of behaviors that I believe constitute harassment. But unfortunately, the terms of service don't really define harassment in that way. Twitter and other platforms need to actually really engage with their users and have a better understanding of what that behavior looks like so that they can make sure that they can protect their users. And if people violate those terms, that they face the consequences for them because social media is a privilege, not a right. If you don't use it in a responsible way, then you shouldn't have that luxury.